When you want to repair a broken neon tube, you have to get the blockout paint off first. The reprocessing will heat it up so far that the paint burns, uh, smokes get brittle and conductive. I have always used a knife before to get the paint off, which is no fun at all and very time consuming. So I'm trying something new today, this remover spray for different paints and graffiti. I have repaired that same tube of another sign before and this paint is very hard and sticks to the glass very good so I could use a better way than the knife. It says to spray the old paint then you have to wait 10 to 40 minutes for it to work and then you can wipe the old paint off with a rag. It was hot that day and the spray evaporated quickly so I gave it a second coat after 10 minutes and then let it work for 20 more minutes. I did a quick test with a paper towel and realized that I still need a hard tool like a knife. It doesn't completely dissolve the paint, more like brings it back to the state that it has, like an hour after initial painting or so. And I can't apply as much force to the glass that I could to a piece of metal or something. So there I am scratching off all the paint. Yes, it was easier than the hard dry paint, but still a bit messy and not easy. And then it happened what just had to happen, broke the tube. Luckily in a spot that can easily be repaired, but still annoying. Between these two photos are a full 1.5 hours. Yes, minus the soak in time, but still like almost an hour of scratching and a broken tube. So is that the new super solution for a blockout removal? No, I don't think so. I might give it another try in the future, but then I will make a tool first like a screwdriver with a concave radius at the front, so I can push off more paint at once, like with the knife. And I really have to use lots of paint stripper spray. Thanks for watching, see you soon.